We started on a journey several years ago, not only to become the best hospital we can be, provide the best health care we can provide, um, but I believe veterans deserve nothing but the absolute best, not just in the VA, but anywhere. So it's been an incredible year for us, and I say that um, really in awe of the staff that we have and the work that they've done and the veterans that we treat. Um, we just decided that, that good enough wasn't good enough. We needed to do something more. We started something called Engage in Excellence this year, and what that is, is garnering the ideas, the incredible talent of staff throughout our organization, giving them real opportunities, not just to improve what they do every day, but to improve our hospital. And we believe everybody can improve what they do, but also has great ideas outside of what they do every day. And we've come a long way in terms of providing excellent care. We want to do more than that. We want to be home to our veterans. We want to be a place where they feel like they are walking in and being around family. We want to make their lives better. Right from the start, it was very welcoming. Transferred all of my paperwork over, set me up with appointments with, um, with a doctor that, that I preferred, and care has just been really good. It's a privilege to work here at the VA because, you know, you're working with such a special population. It takes, I think, a very special person also to work here at the VA um, because you have to have that compassion, that caring attitude. We're so happy to have absolutely world-class physicians, nurses, researchers, administrators, all kinds of different staff that we've been able to attract to a place that we feel is a good hospital that's doing better every day. Patients are most nervous and most anxious and family members are most nervous and anxious in that period between when you have a suspected cancer diagnosis and you actually get the diagnosis. And so our whole goal of this multidisciplinary clinic is to make sure that we expedite the time from first suspicion to diagnosis to treatment. Having those kind of staff allows you to do some special things and be innovators in all that you do. Without research, without innovation, we don't advance healthcare treatment. It's as simple as that. We need to be able to offer the best, the most cutting edge, treatment options for our veteran population. We have a very close affiliation with the Medical University of South Carolina as well as Roper, and those together with the Medical Center really do provide the infrastructure and the team approach to science that, that I think is not, not available in other places. And access at the Charleston VA is amongst the best in the country if you look at the size of our hospital and our growth rates. We want to make sure that we are there for patients when they walk in the doors, irrespective of what our growth rates look like. We're using a variety of technologies in order to make sure we're giving quality mental health care to our veterans. Uh, one of these is telemental health services. But tell me a little bit about what's been going on, what's contributing to not feeling that great. We can provide service to our veterans that are at our outpatient locations and in other areas of not only South Carolina, uh, but really uh, the country. We're looking at ways to absolutely make sure that every veteran that walks through our doors and gets care with us leaves here each and every time a little bit better than last time. Leaves here after we provide them care, having hope if they don't have hope, having improved health, having improved family relationships, being hopeful for their future. It's something that we take very, very seriously. It's more than just running a hospital. It's more than just diagnosing disease, doing tests. It's about truly making people's lives better.